Hey guys, Ace Dude's Buckeye in the house for my 2008 Ohio State football preview. Now, I come out with offensive previews earlier, and um, that's good and all that stuff, but this is the overall preview with my predictions for this football season. We are just three short hours away from kickoff of the 2008 Ohio State football season. I'm pumped! I can't wait. So, let's get this preview started, all right? Now, Ohio State brings back lots and lots of players, okay? 18 overall, 20 if you count the specialist kicker and punter, 9 on offense, 9 on defense, and the kicker and punter, making 20. So, obviously, that experience is great. And this is coming off a team that played in the national championship last year, obviously, in the last two years, all right? So, coming off 11 and 2 season, returning 20 slash 18 starters, you know this team's going to be good. And that's why they're ranked number 3 in the country to start the year, okay? So, with all that experience coming back, there's not many weak spots. Ohio State's biggest problem right now is, is a fullback. You know, it's finding a fullback. We don't have hardly any problems, but that, if we had to pick one, would be the problem that we have. But, in the spring game, Curtis Terry, the linebacker slash fullback, just laid out a bunch of linebackers. So, I imagine he will get the start. I'm not sure. We did get a true freshman, Jermel Martin, uh, in this year's recruiting class. I don't know if he's going to get the start or not, because he is a true freshman. And he didn't come in the spring. You know, he just came in, you know, for uh, fall camp, August. So, I don't know. I don't really see him playing. But I think Curtis Terry is going to get the job. But it doesn't really matter because Chris Wells is an amazing back. And he can, makes his own holes. <laughs> so, and also the offensive line is returning four out of five starters, which is obviously huge. So, there are going to be huge holes to run through. If Curtis Terry can just hold up a block for at least a second, it'll spring Chris Wells for big runs. And that's all we really need our fullback to do this year because our tailback is amazing. Then you got Brandon Shane. Uh, he's a tremendous back. We're going to see a lot of him in a pony formation that Ohio State is going to be using this year with Wells and Shane because there's just too much talent at running back. Um, they need to get as many people on the field as they can because there's just too much talent. Then we got Daniel Heron. Obviously, he might see playing time. I'm not sure. And obviously, Todd Beckman, the experienced senior. First team all Big Ten last year. Led the Big Ten in passing efficiency, okay? Passed for 23.59 last year. 25 touchdowns and 14 interceptions. He's come back. What I've heard from the players is he's a lot more confident this season coming into his second year as a starter. You can just tell the difference in the huddle. They can tell it, um, you know, just going about his daily business. They can tell he's a more confident quarterback, and that's huge for for Ohio State and for success. Then you got, of course, Terrell Pryor, the most heralded, heralded freshman quarterback from Jeanette, Pennsylvania. It's going to be sick to see him in an Ohio State uniform in about three hours here. See what he can do on the football field. I'm excited. I cannot wait. We're in the deuce. Ace deuce. Buckeye, yeah, I like it. There you go. So, anyway, there's a little offensive. Now, defensively, Ohio State, again, like I said, returns nine starters from the number one defense in the country last season, okay? Now, number two, now number three, the number one defense, all right? So, why would they not be number one again, okay? You know, the only weakness we have, and it's certainly not a weakness, is, you know, trying to replace Vernon Golson, 14 sacks last year, and a bunch of tackles for loss, but hey, Lawrence Wilson was the projected starter last year, and he got injured, so, uh, he'll be back this year after the injury red shirt, and he's going to have a phenomenal, phenomenal season, he is compared to Will Smith, he is a great, great end. So I can't wait for him to get going, but um, it's going to be sweet. Our D-line is going to be amazing. 
the linebackers obviously stick with Freeman, Lauren Ash. I heard Sabino, ATN Sabino, might be getting a lot of playing time. Now I know the D line's going to get a lot of players coming in and out. I think you'll see some Robert Rowe is in the ball game. Definitely Thaddeus Gibson. I believe the starters are Wilson, um, Nader Abdallah, Doug Worthington, and oh, what's it? Cam Hayward. Okay, but I guarantee you will see. Uh, Thaddeus Gibson, Nate Abdallah, um, let's see, Ty Denlinger if he's not on the line already, and a bunch of other people switching in the line just like they did last year. So I'm excited to see that group and what they're going to do. I've seen the secondary bringing back the number one uh, pass rank defense last year, giving up just 150 yards per game. Now, obviously, we are exposed in the national championship game by LSU, but Crap happens. Now, there's an amazing group with Washington, Chimney Sequa, the Nickelback, who will definitely be getting a lot of playing time. In fact, Washington is suspended for the first two games, so Sequa is going to start over that second cornerback spot. And you got the number one cornerback in the country, in my opinion, in Malcolm Jenkins. And then, of course, Anderson Russell and Kurt Coleman holding down the safety positions. So, all around, great defense, great offense. It's going to equate to wins, okay? Experienced players. They know what to do. They've been through tough times. They've been through two national championship losses. They know how to play as a team. And they know what it takes to get the job done. Now, the moment you guys have been waiting for, my prediction for the 2008 Ohio State football season. Now, in my opinion, this team is too talented and too experienced to not win a national championship, okay? My expectations and my prediction for this football season and for this team is for them to go 12-0 and in the regular season, beat USC in the, out in L.A., beat Wisconsin on the road, beat Illinois on the road, and beat Michigan at home, and also beat Penn State at home, which is a game I will be in attendance at. And also, I expect them to go to the national championship and win it, okay? They're going to run the table. Ohio State will win the national championship. They will win the Big Ten championship. They will get that monkey off the back. They will get the respect they finally deserve. Three straight years in the national championship. The third time is the charm. I guarantee this team wins the Big Ten championship. I would put thousands of dollars on that, okay? Now, I'm very confident this team will win the national championship. With Terrell Pryor coming in and mixing up uh, the offense and getting defenses out of sync and out of whack, he will be the difference maker, and he will be the X factor that Ohio State's been missing. He will be a huge part in this offense, and he will be the X factor, like I said. He will be the difference maker for the Buckeyes this season, as well as Brandon Sane coming out of the backfield, mixing it up that way. So, anyway, prediction 12-0 and Ohio State winning the Big Ten Championship and also winning the National Championship. We'll see you all later. I hope it comes true. Ace Deuce Buckeye, I'm out for now. O-H-I-O! -O.